Right. Hello, everyone. Today's video is on VisiCAD, the design collaboration viewing tool um, that's available from Intergraphics. There's a free version, there's a pay for version. I'll highlight a couple of those things uh, as I go through this. But as you see on the screen here, this is the VisiCAD tool. Uh, this can be downloaded uh, from the Mentor's public site or as the free viewer, uh, or you can do a pay for version and you you can download it from SupportNet. Uh, on SupportNet, you're going to download under the RSI product family, and it's going to be VisiCAD VX.1. Uh, and there's an update 3 for it as well that you'd want to download. So, uh, in order to bring data into VisiCAD, you need to generate what's called a CCE file from CX Designer, Pads Logic, uh, Pads Layout, Expedition. Uh, Design Capture, I believe, supports it as well. So to do that, we go into DX Designer. You see, I got a schematic open. Um, <clears throat> this is a process that you that you must run. So if you go to File, Export, and choose EDXD Schematic, this will uh, let you name the file. It's a good idea so if the schematic and the PCB file have the same name that you tag them appropriately because the extension is going to be the same whether it's a PCB or a schematic. Uh, I'm doing board level. Uh, this is the top level of the design. Nothing else I really need to do there. Uh, click OK. This will automatically be generated in the project that you are working on. Okay. Now, DX Designer does allow you to do some automation. If I go to setup settings here, I can come down to uh, where is it? Run on startup. Um, I can make it generate um, this data automatically if I write a little script um, that says, you know, go off and do this thing uh, when the tool starts up, I believe. I'll look at it into a little bit more, but I believe there's uh, when you shut down the tool as well. Um, so that, that's how you can automate um, the process. Now to do it from the PCB, if I go over to the layout tool, I'm showing tab layout here, but you can do it from Expedition as well. Um, you do file export. And again, I'm going to choose the CCE file format. And again, I'm going to add that this is a PCB file after the name of it. If you look here, there'll be a, that's left over from previously. But um, if we go ahead and hit save, uh, you have some options. Do I want to output the data with actual CAM process information for solder mask and paste mask? So that you have the oversized, undersized information there, or you can just use it as the file that you see in the PCB. I'm just going to leave it as is. Click OK. This will uh, generate the data for us. So now we have our two CCE files. If I go to Windows Explorer here, uh, hit refresh, and uh, scroll down here, we'll see those. There's the schematic. Or there's the PCB file that I just made, uh, and there's the schematic file that I just made. All right, so now I can go into VisiCAD and I can open these. So I can go File Open. Uh, I can pick uh, both my files. I think I can open up two at a time. Yeah, I'm trying to. Nope, I can have to open one at a time. So let's do the schematic first. <clears throat> That'll read the data in, then do File Open again if I want to do. Uh, if I want to view both of them, that will open up the PCB. And you'll see now you have both inside of the VisiCAD GUI. You can uh, break these off into separate windows. Um, if I choose to, I can undock the windows and I can do them on separate screens uh, if I want. Okay. Uh, by default, the tool will automatically connect the two together. So this option, either on this toolbar or the one down here, will be for connecting those two together. This is just giving you a little report real quick. Um, <clears throat> just say yes. Uh, now the schematic and the PCB are connected together. So on each side, there's a little navigator pane. This one's navigating around in the PCB. Uh, so if I click on a part, uh, you'll see it'll navigate to that item and show it to me. And I've turned on a, a neat little feature called flashing. So on the toolbar up here at the top is a little flashing light bulb. You check that button. Uh, when you click on an item, it will find it for you. I've also got pan and zooming on auto. It will find it for you, but it will also flash to let you know <laughs> that those are connected. And you can see down here in the schematic, 
it is cross probing and flashing to that item uh, as well. Okay. And on the schematic side, I can do the same thing. So over here, I can search by nets, buses, components, and under even for components, I can say I want to search by sheet. So I could say, show me everything on the DSP page. Uh, scroll down here. Um, that's showing me net information. Uh, but if we go by prefix, uh, I can search by connectors, uh, pins, uh, resistors. So if I click on R10, you see it found it in here and it finds that in the design for me. I can also set it up to search by cross reference name. Uh, you can look by attributes. So I could choose an attribute so I want to look at, say, uh, what's the one that they use in here. Um, I believe it's called cross reference or X name, X name right there. So I can scroll down to say a, a component U100, find that part there, found it in the layout, and it found, found it for you in the schematic. All right. We do the same thing for cross probing with nets. So I click on a net over on the schematic side. I can uh, view all the different nets in the schematic. I click on one of those nets. Uh, it will find that net for me. Um, and it will it will flash. I had auto zoom, auto zoom and pan turn on. Um, it will also find it for you in the layout. So you can see right here um, is that net. And it's also, you know, other places in the design. You can come up here to the main toolbar and choose different panning functions. Like I can use the uh, pan and I can follow that trace um, around the board. The flashing just makes it a lot easier for you to see that um, item. Plus, th there are some other display options as well. Um, we can go into display colors here uh, and I can set different colors if I want, uh, those types of things. Okay. Do the same on the bottom. Down here, um, I have a display control so I can set colors. Uh, for the schematic as well. And if you don't like the black background, you can go to settings here and you can set the background color um, to something different if you like. All right, when you click on a net, you'll notice there's additional information down here on both the PCB and the schematic side. So I can see pin information uh, for that component or where that net goes in the design. So I can see it goes to U100, U8, U5. And that helps you navigate around and, and find uh, the more granular information uh, about that item. Same thing over on the PCB side. I can click on U5 pin 4. You'll see it highlights that pin for me uh, in the design. Okay. I can see what layers uh, the net is routed on, with their V is connected to it uh, as well. So there I can see the, you know, where the, what layers that net is routed on. All right, um, there's print functions in here. Uh, there's other viewing features. Uh, you, can, you can measure um, items in here, uh, color by net. Um, you can actually cross probe with the native tool itself. So if I was to open up just the schematic and I had pad layout open, uh, I can connect um, to that um, design tool. I come in here, I can say I want to connect to Expedition or I want to connect to pads um, and cross probe natively uh, with that tool. Okay. By the way, the version I'm showing here, this is a pay for version. With the free version, you can only look at the schematic or the PCB, and it does not allow you to cross probe between the schematic and the PCB um, in VisiCAD. Um, I believe the free version will allow you to do the connect to the actual tool, but obviously in order to view the layout or the schematic in that tool, you have to have a license. Uh, the nice thing about this is these VisiCAD licenses are very inexpensive and can be used uh, by anyone in the company just by it floating and then you can share them. Uh, gives them one unified GUI to use for both schematic and PCB viewing where DX designer expedition pads, GUIs are all slightly different. So again, this was just a quick little overview of using the VisiCAD tool uh, and how powerful it can be for doing collaboration and viewing of data, say on a production floor or by those that are not 
don't have access to the to the physical tools themselves. All right, thank you very much.